Hey there, Tim Bauer here from LiveVideoGuitarLessons.com with Practice Tip of the Day. This is for the advanced player, and this is the next to the last in our series on um, thinking about our pentatonic scales horizontally. Um, what, we do, what we're doing, we're taking a, a, a very large exercise trying to memorize a lot of notes, because uh, when you do all five positions up and down, that's, that's a lot of notes. And what we did is we broke them up into small pieces. So we did string pairs at first, and then we did three strings at a time. And the last one was the four high strings, and, and for this one we're going to do the four low strings. And I'm going to try to keep this short because it's, it's the same as the other exercise. You, you can see we're just adding more and more strings, so um, as we get better at, at working a smaller number of uh, notes, you know, with, with a couple of strings, and then three, and then four, so it makes it easier to memorize that way. All right, so I'm not going to run any music during the, the video here, but um, you should run some music and put your scales in the correct key with what, what you're playing with. And I'm just going to play in G minor today. And my fingers are a little sore. I just got in from playing a show. So if I'm a little tentative and put my fingers down, then that's why. But anyway, and like I said, I'm going to try to keep this short. So I'm, not, I'm just going to do a quick demonstration. All right, so we're going to take it up from position one all the way up to position one an octave higher and then back down. So position one for a G minor here, I'm just, just going to kind of have kind of a slow kind of or moderate kind of blues kind of going in my head. <laughs> scale to the next make sure you do it on different strings because um, we're trying to think more spatially here and you don't want to get stuck making the transitions between uh, 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 scales on the same string all the time that's kind of defeats the purpose of our little exercise here all right so I'm gonna head on up to position two So just kind of, hopefully that helps. Just want to do a kind of a quick demonstration of that. Um, obviously, you know, just just kind of play it over and over and over again. Play with different grooves and different tempos and you know different styles of music and um, different keys, obviously, so don't get stuck in the same keys all the time. But anyway, just uh, you know, if if you do that, it helps you um, mentally envision your scales better because people tend to memorize them this way vertically because you you know you get stuck. You know, <laughs> And that's the way everybody memorizes them, but not everybody does them this way. So this is the next thing to do once you get, you know, used to them vertically. So, and you already are, otherwise you wouldn't be here. So anyway, so thanks for tuning in for this practice tip. Tune in again tomorrow for another one, and I will see you soon. Thanks.